say this is one of Goering's key products, the power tap. We've got various sets here. Can you just talk me through it, please? Absolutely, Joe. Um, the power tap basic concept uh, we brought out a couple of years ago, and it was the first tap that was made on our own tap manufacturing machines. We've, uh, we've, we've been making taps now for 30 or 40 years, and exactly the same processes using the uh, uh, rice houser grinding machines and the like. Um, but uh, we wanted to bring out a, a, a range of taps that were made on our own machines to be able to make them at a lower cost and those therefore sell out a universal application tap um, uh, at a competitive price but also with the quality of the you would expect from Guri. And we, the, the other thing we had is we had a lot of colouring taps which were application taps where the actual colouring uh, was a de designation for whether the tap was to machine various materials. And what we did within the, the, the power taps, it saw a certain amount of confusion about knowing which tap for which material, which colour band. So as a result of which, we brought one which was a, which was a good uh, compromise of the geometries that was a good all-round universal tap. And we gave it a gold band, so everybody knew that that's what it was designed for, um, and a, a quite distinct range that, that covered the 80% of, of most um, thread sizes and, um, and thread forms. And what's that tolerance on the taps? Same as what you'd get with a normal thing. So if you're looking at uh, typically uh, um, looking at H6, mm -hmm. you can uh, we don't we don't go either side with with, with H4s or yeah. 7G or 6G or whatever. Those sizes are all uh, those tolerances. Sorry, are all available from the standard range. What we tried to do with the power tap range was very similar to what we did with the SL, was to to aim at the the the, the main market usage of Multiple there. So H6, market, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So there is, there, is, there is certain 6G taps within there, but it's a much smaller range than you'd get from the main thing. Sure. So the vast majority is 6H. And if you're there with space taps, you're in JFs, you've got those. But all different. those are in the main tap catalogue, yeah. which is actually due out any time now. We have a new one available in the next few weeks. Okay, so where are these targeted? Are they targeted at Fred in the shed? Rolls Royce complete, between. complete through. Funny enough, um, we've we've heard people that have used these as opposed to the standard uh, stainless steel tap, and they found it works far better. Um, and it's purely and simply that, that geometry is suited to that particular range of stainless that they're machining. So uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, most predominantly, uh, it's aiming at jobbing shops where you're able to have uh, um, uh, uh, small to medium size engineering. Um, company where one minute they might be machining uh, steel, next machining they might be doing some aluminium, next one they might be doing a bit of stainless steel. But to be able to use a tap, if you're running at one specific component, um, then it's well worth looking at the absolute application mm -hmm. tap from in the range. But if you're running a, a, a wide array of materials, then this is the this is the one for it. And these are available in kits, so presumably competitive price point. Absolutely, uh, what we put them down together, there's a, there's a distinct benefit. Um, Initially, we, the power tap range we brought out as a DIN standard, and they were either DIN 371, 374, or, or 376, um, which we had in, in, in combination with our tin tip drill. Again, it's a, a good all purpose drill, it's a, a, a tool that can cut a variety of materials. So, to put the two sets together, and as you rightly say, they're competitively priced. And then, in addition to that, then we've recently brought out um, uh, an ISO. Uh, range because a lot of people were asking for an ISO 529 range shank, so we brought those out as well in, in, in just the three areas spiral point, spiral flute, and straight fluted. And where can we get these from? Uh, your, your, your usual cutting tool distributor. So it may not be necessarily be a local one, but it's the cutting tool distributor that you use for all your day to day um, uh, sales, as would be usage. So I can see this will cover the majority of applications, Dave, but what happens if I'm doing something slightly different? Good question, Joe. Um, for the, in the main catalogue, uh, within the main power tap catalogue, sorry, obviously you've got a good array there of spiral flute and spiral point, um, both in the DIN standard and also in the ISO 529. But if, it's, uh, if your requirement is for, uh, to, to tap a, a deeper hole, we have a long series version available within the main catalogue. We also have different tolerance bands available within the main catalogue and we have different coatings as well. And there is also a, a, a small variation in different um, spiral flute geometries depending on whether it's a um, one or two times D in diameter or if you're going deeper there is a, a 50 degree spiral available from in the main power tap catalogue as well. Obviously within the main Goering catalogue there is much, much other applications uh, of different thread forms and um, tolerance bands. 